I think I think a, a few uh, I have a, like a few drinks and, uh, and you get confident with your, your liquor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I actually like that. Okay, thank um, you. So which one is our which one is our main camera, Jose? So that one. Okay, so I'm looking right there. So how you guys doing? Welcome to the fourth episode of Joey Restivo Live. I'm your boy Joey Restivo. Uh, we're super duper excited to have this guest star today. Tonight, we had him here all week, and I'm going to tell you more about it, but his name is Mr. Robert Rene, and just phenomenal, but I'm going to introduce him in a couple of minutes. I want to talk to you guys and uh, see what you guys have been up to. You know, I know last week we talked about motivation, what thrills you in life, sharing it. You know what the fun part about these podcasts is uh, all throughout the week we get comments and we get questions and people reach out to us and that's super duper exciting so you know what david yeah i think what i want to do is i want to do some shout outs right now okay so can you tell me who we got on the phone let me see what we got so we got rachel nena right we have right now is entering paul brown paul brown's my man what's up paul brown how you doing brother we got joey morales joey morales yes. aka skittles is in the house yeah we had Leida Medina. What's up, girl? Hello. We had DJ Inferno. He DJ hooked up a few men a few moments ago. Well, he got on the on the on the podcast. Let's talk about DJ Inferno for a second. Now I'm gonna be on DJ Inferno's live show on I believe it's the 22nd of April, and he's an unbelievable Am I DJ. Are you invited? No. He's an unbelievable Thank you. DJ. <laughs> well, because you don't bring a gift when you come to the party. That's yes, the I do. No, you come empty-handed. I'll tell you what, your presence isn't acceptable anymore. Okay. Because your presence only costs me money. So <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. If you, if you bring micheladas mm -hmm. to this party here today, okay, you can come with me uh, for the uh, for the DJ Inferno party on the 22nd. Deal? I'm gonna think about it. I'm too drunk to pre to prepare micheladas. Shame on you. Let's get some more shout outs. Who else we got? Let me see. Let me see the phone. Okay. Let me see what I got. Who do we got here? We got Marvin's in the house. Rachel's in the house. My man, Cesar Reyes. Cesar, your boy Terry called me today. I'm going to see him in South America this week on probably Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. Uh, Rosalie's here. You know, you know Delania, what I like? Delania's too. Oh, Delania. Delania's my love. I love Delania. She shows us so much love, so much support, and I think single-handedly, she puts out more content than our entire team. Really? By herself. So can we start firing him? I'm gonna enjoy that. I would like to do that actually, yes. Now? Because all it costs me with Delania is some love, some video calls, and a whole bunch of Joey t-shirts. She loves wearing my t-shirts. Can I fire myself? Can you fire yourself? Yeah. After we fire all the team. I think what you're doing is you're just pretty much talking yourself off the platform as it is. I enjoy that. Should I fire? Should I fire? <laughs> should I fire David or should I keep him? You guys chime in. We got Rosalie from Staten Islands in the house. We got Valentina. How you doing? She just said, "What's up?" Should we keep David, or should we let him go? And this is David. Just so you know, David's from Venezuela. He's one of my right hand guys here. He's also an architect. I used to be Let's his see. right hand. The first one that says "keep you or fire you," that's going to be the decision. So I'm watching right now. Right now, I'm in limbo. You're in limbo. Your whole future de decides on well, somebody at home watching. Excellent. Ah, you are so lucky. Rachel said, ah, <laughs> keep them for now. LOL. So you're lucky. All right. So now, <laughs> Steve Rubin's in the house, Big Steve. So Dave, yeah. what I'm going to ask you to do is get the hell out of the hot seat. Because my man, Robert Renee, just said I should keep you. So I'm going to have you hold this. Okay. Share my boyfriend. Charles Schwab said, share my boyfriend. What's up, Cruz? How you doing, brother? Paul Brown says, keep him if he can sing one of your songs. You know what? That's a great idea. Hold on one second. Paul Brown from Australia said, and what's up, Paulie Paul? Shout out to Danny also, Danny K. If you could sing one of my songs right now, mm -hmm. we're going to keep you. Any song, just a piece of it. I got, a, I got a more practical idea for you. Don't play one of my songs. 
You got to sing one. No. That's what Paul said. The thing I said, Paul. The thing I, I like perfection. You like perfection, understand? Yeah. Joey Morales said, you're cute, keep you. Rosalie said, keep him. Okay. Big OG in the house. Ralph, what's up, Ralphie? Ralph, big OG. So, you got to sing a song. You got like five seconds to pull this off. Oh, fuck. Take it. our time. Take our time. Sending on my love. Send Knocking on, on heaven's door. <laughs> One kiss. I mean, you got to feel Knocking it. on heaven's door. Get to the mic and sing it for them. I think you sound good. Knocking on heaven's door. That's it. I say, I say we keep you. I say we keep you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate. Now I have one, just one day more of work because tomorrow, <laughs> well, who tomorrow, knows? Tomorrow's Saturday. Actually, we are working tomorrow. So check this out. <laughs> you did a great job welcoming the crowd. Well, thank you. I'm going to want you to take this. Yes. Come back later. Give it to me because I'm so excited to introduce the world to my guy. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for David. David from Thank Venezuela. You. Thank you. I love you. Love you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for giving me my job back. Before you go, you want to let the ladies know you're single, you're married. What what, what about you? Uh, I'm single because I, I haven't signed any paper that said I'm married. So. so say hello to the single ladies out there. Single ladies. I'm here. I'm 18 years old. Single ladies or middle age? You mean young ladies or middle age? What what age? What is your age demographic when it comes to the ladies? Uh, everything under eighteen. Everything over eighteen? <laughs> His English is terrible. He said everything over eighteen. Yeah. All right, that, David, yeah, good. yeah. Do, do you understood? Uh, people, it's everything over eighteen. Okay. With ID. Yeah. Okay. David, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Next week, David's going to be our musical talent. He's going to be our band, singing all our songs. Yeah, I will. I will. I, I gonna. I gonna. I gonna learn uh, guitar, bass, and drums just for that. Thank you, David. You did a great job. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. David, right here. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. For. Thank you. You know, I, I love when people don't know how to make a friggin' entrance or an exit. You know what I mean? He should have been on like five minutes ago. He didn't know how to do it. I understand. I understand. So I hope you guys are doing good back there. Uh, we're doing. We're doing this podcast today from from my hotel, it's called Icon Suites in Medellin. We're on the top floor, which happens to be where my next guest was occupying this whole week with his entourage. Now, you know, when you're a Devo, you travel with an entourage. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the world. One of my favorite new artists, signed to artists that play, and I'm not just saying that. I mean, this kid is unbelievable. He's been around for a long time. He's talented. He's a dancer, a choreographer, a singer, an actor. Please put your hands together and welcome my man, Mr. Robert So now, the intro. Yes was to one of your brand new songs. Yes. What was the name of that song? Hard-Headed. Hard-Headed. Hard-Headed, yeah. And what, is, what does that mean to you? You know what? I don't listen to what the haters say. I'm too hard-headed for that. You know what I mean? I'm just about listening to what I want to do and the people who want to support me and what they think I should do. And that's how I live my life, you know? Good. It's a good way. Yeah, that's right. Because, <laughs> so you came to us from California. From California. Where do you live in California? I live in actually Rancho Cucamonga, California. All right, yeah. good. It's yeah. actually a real place. A lot of people are like, is that a real place? And I'm like, it's a real place. I don't know why that name always reminds me of a candy, like a, like a Jolly Rancher. You're right. It yeah, just yeah. reminds me of a Jolly Rancher. It actually would make a good candy. <laughs> I Some think so. Some nuts in there or something. Yeah, chocolate, chocolate nuts, nuts and Rancho Cucamonga. Cucur Coconut. Coconut. Yeah, Tropical. <laughs> they all have a few flavors. Yeah, yeah. So the idea today is I want to introduce the world to Robert Rene. Yes. I want the world to know what I know. Okay. So let's let's take it back. First of all, what's your nationality? What's your background? I'm Hispanic. Hispanic. Yeah, my, okay. Uh, grand, uh, grand, uh, great grandparents from Mexico. Uh, there's Spanish descent. There's a lot of uh, mix in there. But okay. Yeah. So we got the Spanish descent, Mexican descent, yeah. Latino descent, yes, right? Yes. We got American also mixed oh, in. Oh yes, definitely American. Maybe some Asian mixed in. There could be. There you could know, be. With my last name, actually, my full name is Robert Renee Laos. So a lot of people like to think that I'm, hey, is he, are you part Asian because of your last name? And I'm like, actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah. It's hard. Yeah, yeah I know is. that. Yeah. So I met you mm -hmm. 
probably 2018. Right. 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 You auditioned to come and join as part of a part of my group, right? Linear. Yeah. And uh, and we did a bunch of concerts together in 2019 yeah. for the Freestyle Explosion tour. Correct. You were phenomenal. Thank you. When I first met Robert, I fell in love with him as a human being because his personality, his spirit, and his smile is contagious. <laughs> and and that's true. You're a wonderful human being. Appreciate that. And it was a pleasure. And getting to know Robert, knowing that he was an artist, it was my pleasure to start working with you on another project, right. which happens to be Robert Renee. Right. And I got to tell you, one person was extremely instrumental. Yes. And that's Jerry Dorville from the Dorville Entertainment Link, right. who's one of my favorite people on the earth. And we love Jerry. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how you met Jerry. Well, we, I met Jerry through, um, he was the manager for Lanier, and he was the one that's kind of helping us on the tour and everything. And that's, I met him through you guys. That's yeah. right, but you came to him right from Syrian first. Well, yeah, that's right. Um, there's a, a girl named Syrian Reed who uh, was a professor at UCI. She is a, U a professor at UCI. I took her hip-hop class, and then um, I asked her, hey, if there's any other job opportunities that you hear about, let me know. I was talking about like uh, teaching opportunities, and um, she lined up telling me about a talent opportunity to audition for Joey and Van Lanier, and um, that they needed another member to go out on tour, and it was kind of took me off guard. Sounded like fun, uh, took a chance, and the rest is history. Here I am. That's right. Yeah. Shout out to Syrian. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable choreographer. If you ever need any kind of choreography, Syrian in California is unbelievable. Syrian. Syrian. Yeah. <laughs> now, you come from an extensive dance background. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So I started dancing when I was kind of late, right? When I was about 17 years old and then um, took everything from ballet, jazz, hip hop, uh, musical theater, because I sing. I took a lot of African dance, teach a lot of African dance and hip hop and things like that. So I kind of hit in all areas of dance. Um, so um, yeah, that's, what I, that's my biggest passion is dance. Dance is awesome and, and you're a hell of a dancer. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'm gonna fast forward for a minute because okay. my interviews go everywhere. That's okay. You're in Medellin, Colombia, first time in South America? First time here, yeah. Okay. It's beautiful here. You love it? I love it, yeah. I know the people loved you, mm -hmm. the dancers, the extras, the cast, the yes. production crew, yeah. the whole artist, the play crew loves you. Yeah. Tell me about preparing for these two music videos that we shot while you were in California, as far as choreography goes. Yeah, I think, I think we started talking about uh, making a music video about two months ago, and um, right when you... Right when you told me that I was going to be coming to Columbia, I hit, sort of hit the ground running, and I started rehearsing with uh, a choreographer named David Slaney, who's here, oh, part of my entourage, David. as he says. Actually, David's here? Yeah, David's here. All right, wait a second. Where's David? David, at? where are you? Get over here. <laughs> well, hold on a second. Let me introduce you the right way. Oh, we have to do it the right so, way. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the Artist to Play team is huge, yeah. especially internationally, and we grow every single day with talented, artistic, spiritually beautiful human beings so I'd like to take this opportunity really quick to introduce you to one of Robert Renee's right-hand guys one of our new family members his name is David Slaney, Slaney. welcome David Slaney come on in David I'm in the middle right here yeah, yeah, cool. middle, all right. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So David, welcome hey, to hey. the show. Um, I gotta tell everybody out there, David is a warrior. I only like working with people that have immense work ethic, drive greater than the majority. Yeah. And David was supposed to fly out on Saturday, well actually yes, Friday, yeah. Yeah. or mm. Saturday night to get here Sunday. Sunday, correct. And he actually didn't get to get on his plane because of Many reasons. Many reasons yeah. with flights and, you know, testing and yes. all that stuff. And yeah. Everything was against him for some reason to get yes. here. <laughs> so so what happened is Robert was extremely nervous because David was extremely instrumental yes. in putting the choreography together with Robert for the two songs that we shot. Right. Now, I could tell the people the titles of the two songs, mm -hmm. but you guys know me. I'm top secret with releasing music. <laughs> The first song is called Hard Headed, mm -hmm. and the second song is called yeah. Sweetwater. <laughs> and tell me about the process mm -hmm. of putting the choreography together for two videos. Man, well, the process was definitely 
a surprise for me because we started just doing private lessons just to get him back in the flow of right. things. And then maybe within a week or two of us working together, yeah. he's like, hey, music video. Guess and, what? Yeah, exactly. And, and it so happened. it happened very organically, very naturally. And mm -hmm. he's already a great performer. So working with him was extremely easy. Um, the songs are super fun, so the content yeah. wasn't really hard to come up with, and right. yeah, yeah. Now here we are in Colombia, and we shot the two videos, <laughs> two videos. in a few days. So yeah. it was yeah. it was an awesome process. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't have really, I really couldn't have done it without him here, like awesome. at all. Yeah, and you, you, oh, you here and there. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't. Have. Tell me more about California now. When you uh, were when you were putting the choreography together, was it just you two? Was it other people that you teach? Yeah. What was it? So well, in the beginning, it started off with just us, and we wanted to make sure that we got him as comfortable as possible with the movement. And then right before we got here, we um, knew he was gonna be working with dancers, so I hit up a few friends of mine, got them in the studio, mm -hmm. sent over the, uh, the footage to you guys so we could just make sure that everything was laid out properly and yeah. so that he could feel really secure in what he was doing before he got here. So yes. I wanted to lock everything down, man. Yeah. It was fun, it was, it really, was really fun. fun. We were so excited when you showed up, I believe it was Tuesday night, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Tuesday mm -hmm. night. You didn't come Sunday. You missed Monday missed because Monday. you couldn't fly out Monday for weather in Florida. Yeah, yeah stuck in right. Miami. Yeah, yeah. canceled yeah. flight. Yeah, and just... what was the airline that that you were flying in on? <laughs> we were with um, <clears throat> American Airlines. American Airlines. <clears throat> okay. American Airlines. So we're not gonna slam them right now because <laughs> no. we like them. But of course, of course. it was a great flight though. Let's it was just say a great it. flight. Yes. Did they give you peanuts? Did they give you no, cards? Pretzels, 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 pretzels and water. They pretzels didn't and have, water. Yeah, they didn't have alcohol. So it was prison style. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. You know what? Wait, you just said they didn't have alcohol. They didn't, and I needed it because I get really nervous on airplanes. Okay, yeah. all right. I, I try yeah. to sleep yeah. or work on music on, or write or yeah. do Definitely something. slept, yeah. knocked yeah. out, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what I want to do real quick? Because you didn't get alcohol on your flights in. There's a drink here that was introduced to me by a girl that I love named Sarah. Used mm. to be my girlfriend, now she's family to me. Absolutely. It's a drink called Micheladas. Mm. And, and, and let me explain to the people at home what Micheladas are. I'm not really a drinker, but on a hot day, me and Sarah would be downtown walking around and it's a beer. Whatever kind of beer you want, ice cold, mixed with lemon juice, but around the rim is lime and salt. Mm. And the combination, when I tell you, is beyond this planet, mm. I wanna make sure we can get these few. All hey, right. hey yes. David, let me call David my hype man. And now he's, <laughs> he's my coming band. Back. He's coming back now? Yeah. Again? You well, just got rid of him. We got two Davids here now. <laughs> David, so. yeah. Do me a favor. David, one. Do we have what it takes? <laughs> do we have what it takes to make Micheladas? Yes, we do. I just found out that these poor babies, <laughs> when they flew in, there was no bar service. Right. So would you mind making a few micheladas? I'll have one too. Actually, make one for the crew. Bring us our three first if you can. Yeah, I'm going to do it for the people that may actually make, keep my job. Help you keep your job uh, so we're going to send something to them also? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take? Like two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. Please do. Thank uh, you. Once thanks, again, thanks, David. 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 Yeah. David. My man, David. <laughs> Down. So, <laughs> so Robert, to be yeah. transparent, was distraught. Oh yeah. Sunday, Monday, and probably all the way into early Tuesday morning, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And when you finally showed up on Tuesday night, mm -hmm. he messaged me and said, "Oh my God, Joey, thank God! I can't believe he's actually yes. here. We made it. Right? <laughs> we made it. He was the only one that had knew the vision." The same vision as me, you know what I mean. So I had to have that right hand person. Yeah, there, yeah. But it's also difficult when you're performing in front of the camera mm -hmm. to watch all the dancers in the background mm -hmm. and really handle it properly. You need an extra right. set of eyes oh, of course. that you trust. Yeah. Right. Now, to people at home, when when you're an artist, a performer, an entertainer, whatever the case may be, you always need somebody behind the scenes that you fully trust. Whether you think so or not. Yeah, whether you think so or not. <laughs> because yeah. it's so important because you must become vulnerable mm. when you're giving your all. There's no other way to do it. Even though you practice and you're confident, you know you're gonna kill it, you always have to have somebody that you fall back on. And when that person says, hey, take a break, yes. you take yes. a break. Right. It happens to me with my production partner. Sometimes yep. I'm in there, we'll knock out one, two songs, and I'm like, yo, I still got steam, let's go for the third. And Key's like, you know what, Joey, no. Let's save that for tomorrow so you can get two more. Mm -hmm. Because if I try to push and get the third, I could blow out my vocals and not get anything for the next few days. Few months, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you never know. <laughs> yeah. So that happened this that happened this trip. Mm -hmm. So what we do here is we bring in an artist that we believe in, we work on them, and then in one week's time we do tons of photos, photo shoots, video content, behind the scenes content. 
and we also do the videos. And Robert's work ethic is so strong that I had to actually stop him on Monday so <laughs> at probably 8 o'clock at night because he wanted to go another three, four hours to get more pictures. Mind you, he already took pictures probably five, six hours from various <laughs> photographers. Yeah. And I said, you know what, Robert, at this point, it's more valuable just to relax, right. get a good night's sleep so tomorrow you can come and bring it again. Show that right. shoot. Yeah, right, He's right. like, Joey, you tell me. <laughs> and I had to share that story about me also. I have the same work ethic. Let's relax and we'll reconvene tomorrow so we can get that magic from you. Right. When I tell you guys his pictures, <laughs> just wait and see. You know how we yeah. do it at Artists of Play. Caliente. Just wait and see. Yeah. Robert, muy caliente. Muy caliente. <laughs> muy caliente is what David said. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the experience from when you landed mm -hmm. until right now. How did you feel? Okay, well, the whole plane ride, customs, getting here. Well, two months back, I've been, I was extremely just nervous, didn't know what to expect. This is my first time ever doing anything like this as far as music videos, whatever, acting on camera. So I had no idea what my body was gonna do, what my mind was gonna do, how I was gonna approach anything. Um, so I was extremely nervous, that was the biggest thing. Excited, of course, but extremely nervous. Um, but now, where I'm at, like literally at this point, um, I'm in awe of, first of all, your production team, yourself everyone's vision everybody's everybody's work ethic that you guys have going on here I'm blown away by that and then I'm also blown away just by the production itself yeah. what we accomplished because yes. we created things on the spot as well and helped out with that um, just seeing the scenes that uh, I saw played back and I I still can't believe a lot of that stuff is me <laughs> like you, you know what I mean you I had I had such a good time it came it came out of nowhere I, I just think when you really want something you just freaking go for it and don't hold back yeah. you know what I mean and that's what I think happened yeah, you yeah. killed it until the very end <laughs> yeah. now I don't like to give away anything because yeah. I like I like the people to watch the the project kind of unravel in front of them right, right. but I'm going to do this really quick Jose do we have a little five second clip from behind the scenes of one of the video days okay quick quick because I don't want to give I mean quick as in a short no clip, pressure because I don't want to give no pressure. I don't want to give anything no. away until it's time because now we got the two videos in the can and we're going into an, uh, a process called editing right. where you chop up you get the best part of it you put nice. the story together and you put it out after you color correct it right. so if you have something Jose it's okay if you don't you're yeah, the next one we're going to ask if you should get fired or not <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's it's got to be quick though. Let's see what he thinks. And I don't know what you're playing. Wait, wait, hold on one second. Before you play it, press stop one second. I see David with a tray. We're going to sit back oh. and enjoy for a second. Oh, he David. is quick. Oh, oh. that is not oh. what I expected. Oh, you These are wow. fancy. Let's right. give our guests oh, first. All right. Gracias. Wow. Here, you can yes, have the first gracias. One, David. <laughs> wow. These are fancy. So let's do this, okay? Yes. And David, if you want to pop a squat, you can sit with us for a minute because you made this for us. Sure. All right. So yeah. what we're going to do first, <laughs> we're going to do a toast to a whole team. Oh, yeah. Doing a great Definitely. job, right? The amazing first to the whole team. team amazing team, cheers, everybody. Yes, cheers, absolutely. cheers. Now we're going to do a toast to Robert, Renee, and David, just absolutely bringing that dedication, discipline right. to the table and, and actually showing me how bad you you guys really want it right that's really so important yeah. if you want a team behind you you got to bring it yourself yeah so here's to you guys and your ah. whole team back home in california yeah. Salud. Salud. Hey. Right. Here's up. i got i got three more really quick you ready robert i know you got a huge gigantic family that shows so much love i love your mother yeah. your aunts your cousins everybody that comes yeah. to the concerts and they don't just come to the concert watch and leave yeah they buy t-shirts yeah. cds they they stay at the end. They get autographs. They take pictures. They yeah. sing songs. They're side stage. They're dancing. Side like. <laughs> stage. Here's to your whole beautiful I love family. You guys. Right? Yeah, they're all watching them. Right? All right? Yeah. I want to do. I want to do. I have one too. After you're done. Okay. okay. I got. I got two more. I got one to my team here mm -hmm. that every single time makes me proud. So here's to you guys. Yes, y'all. And my yeah. team that's not here Thank right you. now. That's home. <laughs> the whole artist and play team. And then my. And then my very last one is to you guys yeah. that support us. That's right. Because this is an act of love right now. There's not money coming in. We do this because we love it. Right. And we want to put out designer content from our souls 
every time to entertain you guys. So this one's to everybody that shows us love and support from every angle. Here's to you guys. Now, I know you got one. I got one. Yeah. Go ahead, Robbie. <laughs> so somebody, uh, I have uh, Justin, who's like my, my biggest support system, my backbone, the guy that always you know pushes me to be a better person. And he's here with me in Cal uh, Columbia as well. And I want to give a big shout out to him. I wouldn't be here without him. Hey, honestly. man, I'm, yes. I'm going to say that too. Justin is a gangster. All right, to Justin. Justin. To Justin. Yeah. To Justin. Yeah. There we go. Hey, man, let's get that sip. This is for you guys. That's good. Mm. Oh, it was real good. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the lime. Mm. The lime is what does it. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so good. So we'll squirt there. a little Ooh. more in there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, let's get a little more lime too, right? A little squirtsies. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. so nice. That's good. Refreshing. Thank, Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Right. And to you, David. Great job, Thank you. brother. What's he going to do with that paddle? I'm scared about He's it. He's going to go make some Are they cheese and us? crackers. Uh, this, <laughs> is part of my, no, this is part of my, my, my mm. serial killer starting kit. I like it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got that hobby. David, uh -oh. can, I, can I get a little more lemon, too, please? If you well, at least it's on camera. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Bye, David. Thank you. No. Oh, my gosh. Let's talk about this. Okay. You come from the world of Disney. I do. Tell yeah. me about that, because that's so important, because yeah. there were so many stars, and I mean A-listers, <laughs> yeah. that sure. started off on Disney. Yes. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, no, totally. Justin Timberlake, just Miley Cyrus, so many A-listers started <laughs> from that camp, yeah. so to speak, and they're, they're obviously, they're, they're iconic, Yeah. but you two started at Disney. Yeah. How old were you when you did your first anything for Disney I was I was 17 17 years old yeah yeah, yeah. And you, you've <laughs> yeah. been with them for a while right I've been a long time yeah well I'm, I'm not with them anymore due to the pandemic but I had a long career with them I started in, in parades and worked my into sh way to show singing acting uh, dancing all that stuff and um, they're the ones that really gave me the foundation of my performance um, so I'm always grateful to Disney as silly as it might sound to people, Let's they were they're amazing Disney. company. Yes. Disney. Disney. <laughs> That's the mouse, y'all. Yeah, you too. Yep. Yeah. That's the mouse. Well. Yeah. And you know, you know what's great? Disney, I mean, they pretty much own the world. Oh, thank, thank you, David. They pretty much own, and you gave me a lemon. You're my guy. <laughs> but it's true. They are so mainstream and streamlined uh -huh. that anybody that they work with has to have that level of professionalism. Right. And you yeah. learn such work ethic from them. Yeah. You know you do. Yeah. yeah. And then you and you know, you know, and the more work ethic you have with Disney, I I told you I was talking about this last night. Absolutely. Like and it doesn't even matter how talented you are, you gotta have talent. But it doesn't even matter how talented you are, if you have the work ethic and you're there and you're present and you have a good attitude, you'll go far there. Yep. So they really do uh, you know, they really do they want nurture that. that. They, they yeah, cultivate they do. They those relationships. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and you know that's, that's that's something to say back home to people because you know I have a lot of artists that watch me, a lot of friends. You you don't have to be artistic. You just gotta want to go further in life. And right. and the truth is, perseverance, in my opinion, goes further than natural talent or 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 something yeah. you lose in, learn in school. It's true. Because does. if you're not gonna give up, sooner or later you're gonna get what it is that you want out of life. Right. So yeah. take yep. that as a lesson, guys. And. There's a lot of talented, beautiful people out there, but yeah. if you really want something and you really want it, don't listen to anybody, especially your own voice in your head oh, yeah. saying you can't do it. I'm still fighting that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I fight it too yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but it's normal for human beings. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We had that conversation today. I think that David has such an amazing spirit. When you, when I first met you, when I told you, I said, I love you. Yes. Do you understand? Because yes, you did. your spirit is electric. It comes out because you know, you're not looking for approval or acceptance. All you are is pure. Yeah. Thank you. Take it or leave it. Thank you. And I respect you so much and I love you for that. Appreciate Real that. deal. Today I was working on the podcast and working behind the scenes. David and Jose, which is my producer, was uh, working on one of the desks. And David's there listening to music with his back towards me, <laughs> 10, me 10 feet away. And I just see him laughing, smiling, bouncing while he's just <laughs> enjoying life. And that's yeah. something that we got to... Learn to take it advantage of. Yeah. You know, you don't know what's coming up tomorrow. So when you have that, celebrate Enjoy that. Enjoy it. Celebrate. And what was the quote that your friend said to you today? I overheard on the oh, phone. Oh, man. I wish I could Everybody's remember. got talent. It was something like that. But yeah. I don't want to misquote her. But it was about, it was, it was something similar to that. So I'll have to give that back to you so you can give yeah, that back yeah, to yeah. We'll get back to you on that. I don't want to misquote right her. Yeah. It's yeah. like everybody's got talent. But anyway, whatever it was, yeah. it was a beautiful quote. Yes. I love yes. being part of it. Yeah. So now.
Jose, we got it synced up. Are you ready to show a quick, and I mean quick, little behind the scenes video from a cell phone oh, of the recording I'm of Hard Headed? Cell phone. Okay, let's see. I like it. <laughs> Let's see. Tell guys, please. Check one, two. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm yeah, ready. Let's see let's it. I want to see a little bit clip. No, we haven't even seen much, so I'm excited. Oh, not, that one. not that one. No, just kidding. <laughs> no audio though, right? No. Okay, good. Give me one more. Pick me a better one. I want one where he comes out and does a quick <laughs> choreography scene. Yeah. Really quick. Give me another one. <laughs> I think We're that that was dress rehearsal. Yeah, that was that had my rehearsal. jacket on. Party vibe. Yeah, that was that was that was a rehearsal one. Run through, run through. We got this. Let's have another cheers. And you know oh, what? Yeah, it's fun. We're just gonna talk while oh salute. Let's do another one. We're just gonna talk. Okay. All right, you ready, Jose? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, there we go. That's something different. <laughs> oh yeah, this is. I like this one. <laughs> uh. Nice. Oh, here she comes. Here comes our girl. Wait, don't give no more away. Cut it there. Cut uh, it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cut it there. So, how did you feel being the star of your own music mm. video? You know, I thought I was gonna, like I said, I thought I was gonna be super nervous, super scared. It was kind of like an, I don't know, like an out of body experience. And I was like, and the whole time I was like, every time you had me reset. I was like, is this really happening? Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? So I can't really like explain the feeling. I never had the feeling before. This is my first time being, you know, the center of that type of work. So it was kind of an out body experience. Yeah. It was just like, whoa, I've come, you know, I've come all these years doing what I love doing and this complete circle and here I am the, the center of it all. Yeah. And it's just like, it's weird. It was it's great. very, it's very, it's a very unique feeling. Yeah, and you Blessed handled it. feeling. <laughs> yeah. you, you, what you did is you controlled it and you owned it, yeah. which is so important. Some yeah. people get lost and just completely shut down because yeah. we must have had 40 people, 50 people on set every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. Lights, camera, camera. and then it's action. Yeah. And something that people don't realize is when it's time for action, whether it's a video or a concert, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes when I'm on the side of the stage and the MC goes, ladies and gentlemen, Put your hands together yeah, you're just for like, oh your heart is pounding. You're thinking, oh my God, what if they hate me? What if they yeah, love me? What if yeah. this, the what ifs come out. Right. And it takes every single ounce to keep your butt right there yep. and go forward instead of running back and hiding. Right, right, right. And Don't calling totally. it quits. Yeah. But what happens magically is when you confront your fears, yeah. you wind up controlling and owning your fears. Yeah. Mm. And I, yeah. Right, and yeah. they, they don't become so scary anymore, and that's that's really important in anything that you that you do in life. Like, yeah. everybody's got things that bother them, make them scared or horrified. Right, and <laughs> what you got to do is you got to write them down, mm -hmm. and then you circle the first one and you just confront Concrete. it every yeah. single yeah. day until it becomes empowering. Right, and and that's important to do. You know what I used to do? I lived in Florida, and I used to have this, and I still do, mm -hmm. this horrible fear of Jaws. In the ocean. Wait, the shark movie? <laughs> the shark movie. Or just sharks in general. Sharks in general. Okay, great God. white sharks. Yeah. A fish touching my leg in the ocean. Oh I turn into a chicken and yeah. I want to run on top of the water. And every day for about two months, I would go after the office. I would go to the Fort Lauderdale Beach and try to swim. And every single day when my head went under that water, I heard, I heard the music. Da -dum. Da -dum. Yeah. Da -dum. Da -dum. <laughs> and my heart would pound that I couldn't get out of that water, water fast funny. enough. I swear to God, it's horrifying for me. Are you still afraid of the ocean? I, I, I'm not afraid of the ocean. Just the sharks. As long as I'm knee deep and yeah. no more. All right. <laughs> and and then, then I try to go in further, but I still hear those music. I still hear yeah, that I damn that, that song. But I yeah. still will continue trying to conquer it. Believe it or not, you know, when I was younger, I went through a phase where I was afraid to talk to girls. Okay. I don't know why. Like I would get nervous. Not is, any girl, but if I believe. really, really liked the right. girl. Very hard to believe. <laughs> I would get nervous. Very hard to believe. Yeah. Said. No. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> no. yeah. It's very wholesome. Yeah. So, so what I would do is I would force myself to go out mm -hmm. <laughs> and talk to everybody. Yeah. And just put that fear out of the way. Yeah. And now I have zero problems talking to anybody. Yeah. Um, and that's it. So that's where we're at. <laughs> Gotta love it. What was your favorite part of this whole week? Mm. Like, and you can like, only pick one. 
I don't I, care what it is. I think my favorite part was, I thought it was, I mean, I, of course I love dancing. I've always loved dance. But it was it was something that I haven't done before, which was the acting stuff that we did in, in Sweetwater. There was like a whole scene where we needed to act. Like there was, not to give too much away, but I had to act a lot by myself. And um, before we shot, I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But for whatever reason, once that once he said action, it was the funnest experience. Is it funnest the word? It yeah, was the best experience I've ever had. Like just just acting it out and do and not dancing and doing something completely different. And I think that was my favorite part, only because it was you know it was the first time I ever did it, and it was just I don't know, it was something new. It was yeah. phenomenal. It was and phenomenal. Mike's, yeah. You were natural. Yes, <laughs> you were Thanks. natural because on the yeah. pressure, you don't crack. Yeah. What about you, David? What was your favorite part of this whole trip so far? Oh man. <laughs> so many moments but I would have to say second day Sweetwater watching the big number in the big dance yeah, yeah. in the warehouse E place that we were at uh -huh. I literally had a moment where I almost cried you said because that. Yeah. it was so like you said very surreal right to be in another country working with people that we don't know we've never really met amazing people amazing right? people <laughs> and to see it all coming together so effortlessly even though there was a lot of effort put into it yeah, it yeah. was just it was incredible yeah. incredible experience everything just dominoed into the next yes. in a good way and it was yeah i can see yeah you so said that was your favorite part that yes night. Yeah. absolutely and it was amazing yeah it was, we had yeah. beautiful guys beautiful girls beautiful talented people set on set just giving their all oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> we, we oh no, he liked somebody and he looked like a sexy Jesus. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Simon, yo. Shout out. <laughs> All right, well tell him real quick shout uh, who is Simon give a little bit, not too much. I right, don't give too much, but uh let's just say He was an extra. He was an extra yeah. on set and you know, he's playing like the main bad guy in the video and um I lost a little bit of professionalism when that shirt came off. So it was pretty awesome. It was pretty great stuff. Uh, there yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, maybe that was my favorite moment. Maybe it was. I think it was. <laughs> Secretly, I think that was his favorite moment. <laughs> so yeah, there's something for everybody in these videos. You know uh, what I like? Where's that white mask? I will give one little thing away. Uh, it should be right there. It's okay. Thank it's you, Alejandro. Scary. So what I will say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you one little thing. And you're going to see this in Robert Renee's Sweetwater video, which is gonna be released in probably four months. We're putting out Hard Headed first, but I will show you this. And it's not gonna make sense to you now. The but symbol. It, but after you <laughs> after you see the video, You'll know you're why. gonna understand. So you can always <laughs> rewind and come back to this again and check it out. It's gonna make a lot of sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Robert, I'd like you to sign this for me okay. before you leave, and okay. we're gonna put this up on the wall at Artists yeah. to Play. Okay. Right, because I, I love that stuff. I love it. I want to tell you that I'm really extremely proud of you. I appreciate that. I knew you had it in you, but we also had a conversation many, many months ago before we embarked in this journey together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you said something to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it out to yeah. the world real quick. Please do. Hopefully this is something you guys could pull from because I believe in giving to you guys whatever we can. Robert was second guessing himself. He was very unsure if he should be going into this world because he had those challenges within himself. Yeah. And he said something, he goes, oh my God, Joey, do you think I can do it? And I thought about it for a minute and I decided to go with exactly what the voices in my head were telling me. I said, Robert, I can't tell you that. All I can tell you is this. If there's something that I want, me, Joey Receiver, if there's something I want, I don't care what anybody else says to me. Right. I'm gonna go out and get it regardless. Right. So whether I believe in you or I don't, you have to believe in you. Right. And if yeah. you want it bad enough, I will back you up all the way across the board, but you got to dig in deep right. and decide yeah. if you want it. I do want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and by <laughs> your yeah. performance, yeah. brother, yeah. no nonsense, you killed it. Thank yes. you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I was choked up like I'm feeling now, you know? Mm -hmm. When things are real, I'm, it's easy for me to get emotional when things are real. Right. And there was a part, I had tears, and it's the part you were talking about. Same For part, me, huh? Yeah. It was profound because 
I've never, well not never, but in the last 15 years of my life, I've never witnessed a performance where all the extras, the crew, and all the other cast members stood up and cheered. <laughs> they did. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait to bring that song to you guys. <laughs> Believe me, Robert, you made me proud. Thank you. You made California proud. You made America, Colombia, Latinos, gay, straight, black, white. You made everybody proud because you represented everybody. Yes. And I'm going to include the dance world. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let's get to that, yo. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> so now what I want to do, I want to take some questions or comments from the audience. So let's get David out here David. with the cell phone. And let's get some let's get some questions. People want to know about Robert. Yeah, let me do it. Let's see. I'm gonna have a hard time reading without let me my give glasses. Give your seat back too, right, so David. you guys can no, 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 stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. All right, all right. <laughs> where did my glasses go? I'll be here. All right, David, read me some questions. Then I don't know where my glasses went. Okay. We want to take some questions from the audience, so we'll rewind. Do you guys have any questions about Robert Renee? Ask them. You guys have questions for me? Ask you. Questions for David? Ask them. You see him? Right by your feet. Uh, okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Got it. Robert, yeah. do you want me to keep my job? I do want you to keep your job. Okay. I love you, David. Yeah. Thank you. I love yeah. you, too. In these past few days, no, past few days, found in love with you, David. It's been so helpful. <laughs> yeah, so helpful. So no, helpful. so helpful. Yes. Yeah, you David have an, is you have so an amazing, helpful. You have an amazing team. He's one of my right-hand guys, and he's so instrumental mm -hmm. in the day-to-day -day operation yeah. of Artists of Play. The hotel and some of the other businesses we, yeah. we got here and he's happy to do anything he can for anyone yeah fantastic Blessings. awesome guy <laughs> I, just, I don't know if I, if I can say this we had this guy called jerry dog i know <laughs> i know him come on in <laughs> start that whole thing again so we can hear what you're saying I need to censor I, it, this. There, there's we this need guy censor. this so-called jerry dog I know him as the king of the macaroni and cheese. Oh, you know David is king of macaroni. Uh, you know Jerry is king of the macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that, that's that's the way I know. Like instant, okay. instant or homemade? Instant. That's a good question. Uh, I needed some yeah. instant. I think it's uh, the sponsor is Kraft. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fair. I'm dying. Oh yeah. I don't know yet, but I, I think I you're think right. So. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know if I say this out loud, but I'm gonna say he's one? asking this very important question to me. Hmm. Where is my motherfucking drink, David? <laughs> We're drinking one for you, Jerry. Right you know, here. Here it is, the Jerry it Dorville, is, the Dorville, Dorville Entertainment Link. Take a Love sip you. for him. Let's do it. By the time I get those macaroni and cheese, I give you that drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a deal. That's a deal. Uh, okay, and remember the other deal, you owe me money. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Called out. Yeah, yeah. Called out. Venmo. Ven <laughs> so what questions we got for Robert? No questions. Uh, Robert says, who influenced your musical career? Who influenced it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So many people. Uh, as a dancer and performer in music, uh, are, are they talking artists? Let's just say artists, I yeah, guess. What you know, is, I, I grew up with Janet. I grew up with Janet Jackson, Paula, Michael. All the performers that work their butts off and during performances, live performances, the ones that rehearse and the ones that kill it and sing at the same time and don't lip sync, like that's where that's where my work ethic comes from. Because I know, like Beyonce, like they all they all work their butts off for performances and for their craft, and I think that's what really inspires me. Not just artists, singers, just people in general who work for their success. Yeah. Not beautiful. people who will kind of just go the easy way out. And try to get an easy buck here and there but the ones that actually work hard and have a work ethic to get there Amen. yeah yeah so anybody who just works hard <laughs> what else uh, we got this lane who's asking are you still a dance teacher in california oh. ah oh yeah i'm still currently teaching uh, i'm a professor at uh, cal state dominguez hills and fullerton college in california so i'm still teaching yeah you want to give your students a shout out yeah all my students if you guys are watching i love you all I just been grading your papers. <laughs> you guys are doing awesome. Are you gonna give? Are you gonna give them better grades because you're having a great time now? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> the rules still apply. <laughs> what else we got, David? Uh, we got Eric Hall. That uh, he say a very transcendental, very deep question mm -hmm. to Mr. Joy. No joy. What is your drink? What's my drink, Eric? How you doing, brother? The drink right now oh. is called 
Michelada. And what it is, it's a beer. So in this case, we're using Corona, mm -hmm. right? Um, with a lot corona, of Corona. Corona, I give you the, not the, the virus. number. Not the virus. Right. Not the, not the virus. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, my God. Just yeah. Beer. But Eric, it's, uh, it's called a Michelada. Story. It's a beer with <laughs> lime juice. And then there's lime around the, the brim of the glass or the rim of the glass with salt on it. And it's actually really super duper refreshing. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a drinker, but this is unbelievable. And this limes, it's nice, yeah, right? Really yes. good. And limes in Colombia are plentiful. Yeah. Like you could buy a bag of limes, like a five pound bag of limes for literally a dollar fifty maybe. Now. Or less. So delicious. Thank you, Eric. Great question, brother. <laughs> what else we got? We had Cesar Reyes. This is for Robert. How long did you train for the dance routine for the video program? Uh, we trained. Ask again, please. Ask again? Oh, okay. yeah, you gotta ask louder. We got cut off, David. Project your voice a little more. Ask again. Okay. The, the question is this is for Cesar Reyes. He said, How long did you train for the dance routine for your videos? Uh, for oh, both, for videos. For, yeah, for both videos, we did about two months, two times a week for both videos. So, I don't know, what's that? Doing the math, about eight, eight, Eight rehearsals a month, not that many for a He's couple like, hours. You're for actually a couple hours. being. I, I I would say we did it about a month because the first okay. month we were actually just working on you. That's right. We weren't working on the. We video weren't working yet. on the video That's yet. True. And then the second month was when we kind of threw everything, threw everything together. together. Yeah. Right. So about a month. Yeah. Two times a week. You worked really hours. fast. <laughs> and then the yeah. dancers here got the videos about three, two or three weeks before. Yes. Right. You guys came down. Right. And they got down every single day. And they, they learned it all off of a video. Yeah. And they yeah. did phenomenal. Shout out to the dancers. Yeah. Shout, shout out to the guys. Great we job. love you guys. And <laughs> and this, this question is for me. Mm -hmm. from, oh. From, yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> How convenient. Good. Because yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh. If you want to have it, if you don't. I want to hear it. Let's what the. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay. Uh, Profanity, you know, you know, in, 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 in the life of everyone, uh, everyone, uh, we have this moment, right? Mm. In which moment of your life you had this, let's say, epiphany, mm -hmm. I mean, like the switch that go on and tell you, I have to do this. Mm. Oh. What, what put you, or what life experience, what happened that put you in that position? And you say, okay, this is my thing. I'm gonna make my, my music, my zone, my video, my own thing. Right. Mm. Oh, you know what? It was. <sighs> Let's see. I mean, when we were performing with Lanier, I had a taste of what it's like to sing and dance in front of a crowd, right? So that was already ingrained in my brain. Like, I love this. This is fun. I would love to continue doing that, but never thought solo, right? And it wasn't until actually Jerry planted the seed one day after a show. He's like, you should do some solo stuff on your own. Never even, never even crossed my mind because I didn't think. Again, at that time, I didn't think I had so it. So Jerry me. was your Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, he he was. I mean, no, he was a he, big difference. He put it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was. A, he planted the seed in my brain about it, and I was like, okay. And I thought about it for honestly months, and then I told it. I texted him one day. I texted him and Joey one day. Hey, you know, if there is ever an opportunity where I can, you know, record a song and you know, and just you know, if, and it sounds right, let's do it. And not even a couple, not even a month later, uh, Jerry and Joey. Uh, hooked me up with uh, Keelan and um, you know we recorded a song and I loved it we recorded a second song and it just kind of like after the second song actually actually with the third song I um, I knew this is what this is what I wanted to do and it, honestly here in Columbia when we shot the first video first scene dancing that was when it clicked in my head okay this is where I belong like when I started dancing on for the video here in Colombia, mm -hmm. when it really sank in, where I where I knew that it was this is all f what I should be doing in life. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. this and this question is <coughs> directly connected to that one. Mm -hmm. The feeling. The feeling. The feeling of the image you have in your head uh -huh. about all that uh -huh. and actually doing it. Right. Describe yeah. to the people. Well, first of all, like you, you always, I think you always plant an image in your head of what you want it to feel like. Absolutely. You're like, oh, this is what I want it to feel like. I want it to feel like this. But then you also prepare yourself. It might feel like this. Like it might feel a lot less. But like the feeling that it, it has given me up to this point is like beyond what I wanted it to be. And I'm so shocked by that. And I'm so grateful for, again, Joey, Jerry, and the whole team. Like I'm really honestly like over the moon. Like I can't even express how amazing it feels like I literally surpassed 
all my expectations, the video and my emotions and how I feel about it. Like I want to continue pushing forward and doing this for sure. Yeah. And people that are watching, this answer is real. <laughs> no, it His is. His eyes is actually shining when he's saying these <laughs> words. Yeah. I mean, he's really feeling it. Yeah, okay? I love it. So what you're gonna have is a real honest and a really good artist, and you wanna have the opportunity to, to hear it and feel that feeling. Oh yeah. yeah. You're gonna feel it in your skin, in your bone, and in your heart. This guy got a great heart. Oh. Thank you, David. And he next said that. week, yeah, and next you. week we're gonna be having besides the Joey Steve live show, we're gonna have the. The David Fuentes show. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Hey. Next week. <laughs> and now I know. Now I know my work with this guy uh -huh. ends today. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. I think, what I'm saying is, I think you're doing a great job. Yeah. I really uh, do. I love your questions. Uh, thank, thank you, you yeah. David. I like that one a lot. I just try to connect to guy from this phone. You for say, I need a David show. Yeah, <laughs> so I read your mind. You did. <laughs> and can I say when when we were writing these tracks? Mm -hmm. We had an idea from mm -hmm. what you've done on stage with me, mm -hmm. but we, we had no idea how far you were willing to go. Mm. Do you understand? And now, probably in about a month from now, we're going to start up again. Right. And now we know where your range is. Where range and is. we're going to continue to push you and write bigger and better with you, of course, so we can actually push and find out what you've got to offer all the way across the board because I think you got way more in you. Way so. more in you. I oh, really yeah. do. I know he does. I really hey. do. And you're definitely choreographing a lot more of our videos. Hey. Yeah. A lot more because I'm, I'm here for the team, man. Yeah, you are. Your here professionalism. For you, man. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh my God. It was insane. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So what else we got for, for Robert? Uh, <laughs> uh, shout out for Albertus right now joining in. And Cesar Reyes, uh, another question for Cesar Reyes. Okay. Robert, who is your artist who would you like to work with or would you have liked to work with from any time or you? Oh my god. That's a great that's question. A, that's a hard one. That's yeah. a hard one, yeah. I, I just I always go back to the Jacksons. Like, yeah. like Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, especially Janet. For some reason Janet always been a part of my dance love. Like ever since I was a kid I always wanted to dance background for Janet so I would love to work for with Janet in any capacity I'll do her hair and I don't even know how to do hair like, <laughs> like I just love her I just love her so much you know what I mean and I and I saw her recently when she had her residency in Vegas mm -hmm. and she's still amazing like you know what I mean and, Unbelievable. and, and it's and you talk about work ethic and what what pushes me and it's that kind of drive she's what 50 in her 50s yes and she's killing it Driving. and it's like I want to yeah and she's beautiful she, I would love, still gorgeous yeah gorgeous yeah Okay, this is a question for Nicole Morel. Okay. And you answer in, in one of your, your, your answer, but it's okay. Uh, she said, "Are you continue dancing with Joy when the when he goes back on tour?" I think we said, "Yeah, right." Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, of course. You'll yeah, be right there. Yeah, that's the plan for sure. Like I said, yeah. I love performing with Joey. Like it's, it's been one of my best experience I've had, and yeah, we're definitely going to be dancing. Do we have that clip? We got a clip of us on stage, don't we? Of course. Why don't we Let's put that on it. really quick? It's me, Robert, and Jay Bad. Let's send a shout out to our Jay man, Bad. Jay Bad. Oh, Jay Bad. You third don't know guy up on stage yeah. with us. Jay Bad, we love you, man. We miss you. Hell yeah, we miss him. <laughs> That's a crunkin' son of a gun. Oh, he crunks like no other. Hell yeah, he's, no, a, he's a great a dancer, too. Yeah, Jay yeah. Bad's <laughs> in the house. Uh, Play like 30 seconds of it, Jose. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're just having fun, you know, we're lighthearted here. Yeah. Informative, lighthearted. We want the world to know the guests. Yeah. Here we go, let's put it on. That's us three on stage let's from see. Pacific Concert Group. Oh. It's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, take it back to the beginning. We're good. There I am. Hey. Yeah, on the left. The people can't see it yet. All right, the people can't see it yet. We're going to get it by. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is our fourth podcast, so. We're gonna have growing pains, yeah. little bumps in the road, but we don't see them as bumps. Yeah. We see them as an opportunity to get bigger and better next time. That's right. Nice. It's raw. And we're gonna have it's fun. Raw with it. live. Yes. I love it. Right. Yes. I love it. And really quick, a quick pump for this: if you guys are watching it live, or if you're watching it later tomorrow, the next day, next week, remember you can go to my YouTube channel and you'll see an edited, fun version with all the bells and whistles on Joey Restivo. Right? What is it, Joey Restivo? Jose, what's my YouTube channel, Joey Restivo? That's, that's it? Just Joey yeah, Recibo? I, I put it in the screen right now. All right, All right, put it on the screen so the people can see it. Do me a favor. Click the subscribe button because that's going to really help. 
They just recently started putting commercials on our content, which means they're paying attention to us. That's We're ready. ready. Let's, let's, let's drop it. it down. Steps though. Syrian Reed. Yo, I'm so shocked at those. Yeah. Like, y'all look so great. Dig it, dig it, man. Dig it, man. Dig it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. That's hype. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Old school. I love it. Hey, let's go. <laughs> I think my hey, a little more. Let's get the pumps yeah. in there. Hey, a little more. It's all right. Uh, I think my zipper was there. No, it's good. <laughs> and when was this show? Oh, 2019 sometime. I don't yeah, sometime 2019. Okay. So we got any more questions at all? Hey, Corona. We're going to give you the numbers right after I play. Of course. <laughs> Any last minute questions? Because we're ready to wrap like it, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Robert and Hill ask, what inspired you to songwriting? To songwriting? Yeah. Well, it wasn't, honestly, I've never been a songwriter, right? So um, it wasn't until Keelan and Joey started putting songs together, and they have inspired me to start thinking about how to write music. You know, you're telling me to write titles down, write your feelings down. That's right. Um, you know, write anything that comes to your head in a notebook. Um, you know, so it was really Keelan and um, Joey who yeah. inspired me. I never thought about writing songs until we started recording songs. And in all fairness, it was me, Key. It was him, Mr. Robert Renee, yeah. and Jerry also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, Jerry D. Yeah. So we all had, <laughs> we all had our hands in it. And yeah. I think you did great. Thank you. I think you did great. Yeah, it was fun. And let me send a quick, quick, quick shout out to your brother. You went yeah. through a terrible time. I know. You know, I, I don't want to bring any sad things no. up, but Robert lost his brother, Absolutely. his beautiful yeah. brother. Christopher Stephen Laus. Yes. That's right. Yeah. And we talked about writing or turning some of that pain yeah. into positivity and tribute to your brother. Yeah. Anybody that lost somebody out there, you know how I feel about it, losing my parents. And, you know, it's, it's really tough. Shout out to your whole beautiful family. Yeah, my mama. My especially aunt, your mom right yeah, now. Everybody, my family. So yeah. we're going to be writing some stuff together. We will, yeah. In honor of your brother, too. Yeah, we love you, Christopher. I know he's watching right now. <laughs> All right? Yeah. So Thank you, Joey. Our hearts definitely go out to you for that, brother. I appreciate it. So I think we're going to wrap it up, right? Okay. We have any more questions? Yeah, we have a question for Jerry Dorville again. This kid just doesn't go away. You know what we should do? Again? Is that We're going to bring Jerry in next week as our guest. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually should. are. We actually are. Oh, even better. He's asking, where I can find the box of macaroni and cheap <laughs> more cheap? Oh, my. Big lots. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, David. All right, so ladies oh, and gentlemen, yeah. we had some laughs. We had yeah. some tears, some excitement. I want to thank you guys so much for being part of not only this show, but this whole experience this week in what I think is an epic turning point in your professional career and your life. Yeah, no doubt. We at Artists yeah. of Play are honored to have you yeah. as part of our family. And you too, David. Thank you. Right? <laughs> honored um, to be here. Yeah, and I can't wait for you to come back and we do this again. Definitely. And, and, and we're in the near future on some more songs recording, Let's right? With my yep. production partner, Key. And... We want to thank you guys for taking your time. There's so much entertainment and content and things that could be taking your time. Yep. And you chose to share this time with us. And that means a lot, really. And I love you guys for that. Right? I know you guys love them for that. We do. And <laughs> what I'd like to do, if I could, I'd like to play just a little bit of the instrumental version of one of Robert's tracks. Hard-headed or, or Sweetwater? Hard headed. Uh, hard headed. Let's do hard headed. Let's just do hard headed. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and uh, I want to dance it out. Now, I'm very happy to announce also, even though David was teasing him this whole time, a guy I consider a brother because he lived with my family since he was 16 years old. Jerry, I love you. You know I do. Somebody put him in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Lock it. Lock the bathroom. <laughs> Next week, we'll be having Jerry Dorville from Dorville Entertainment Link Jerry. as our featured guest. We love, love you guys. You. I love you guys. Love you too. Yo, and look you forward. So look forward. Let's dance our way out. Look forward to next week. Hey, 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 hey. Hard-headed hey, by Robert Renee. Renee.
We love you guys. Hey. 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 Ah, what? Give him a little family. bit. Give him a little bit. Give him a little bit. That's all I, that's all I can give. Go ahead. That's all you're gonna Oh, 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 And we out of here. Boom. That's it, Jose Lee. Now that's what they see. I love it.